Next, we are going to learn about rest pattern and rest parameter. This rest pattern and rest parameter, it was also introduced in ES6. And basically, the rest pattern, it does exact opposite of what spread operator does. So, the rest pattern is also denoted by three dots, just like the spread operator. And it basically packs a list of value into a single array. Let's try to understand rest pattern with an example. So here I'm going to use array destructuring syntax. There I'm going to create three variables, A, B, and rest. Okay, and to this, let's assign an array. And in that array, let's say it is an array of numbers. So let's say one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so from our destructuring understanding, we know that one will be assigned to variable A, two will be assigned to variable B, and three will be assigned to this variable rest. And since we have not specified any other variable here, this four and five will not be assigned to anything. Now, if I use three dots before this rest, this rest variable, in that case, this is called as rest pattern. And what rest pattern will do is, it will take a list of values and it will pack it into an array. So now what will happen is, one will be assigned to A, two will be assigned to B, and rest of these values will be assigned to this rest variable. So these values, it will be packed into an array and that array will be assigned to this rest variable. So let me go ahead and let me actually log the rest variable here. Now you can name this variable anything just for understanding purpose. I'm simply calling it as rest. Let's save the changes. And you see, when we are logging the rest variable, it is logging three, four, and five. So rest of these numbers, it has been packed into an array and that array has been assigned to this rest variable when we are using this rest pattern, this rest operator before it. Now it might be confusing between rest pattern and the spread operator because both of them are denoted using these three dots. So how you will differentiate that when we are using the rest operator and when we are using the spread operator. Keep in mind that the rest operator will always come in the left hand side of the assignment operator. Okay. And the spread operator will always come in the right hand side of the assignment operator. For example, go ahead and let's create a variable. Let's call this ARR. And what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to specify some numbers, maybe 10, 20. And then in this array, I also want to have all the numbers which we have inside this rest variable, this rest array. So here I'll use spread operator on this rest variable. So you see this spread operator is used after the assignment operator in the right hand side of the assignment operator and the rest pattern is used in the left hand side of the assignment operator. So now if we go ahead and if we log ARR, save the changes. So you will notice that this rest, it is an array which has these elements three, four, five. So those elements are unpacked by the spread operator. And now those elements are the elements of this outer array. So this three, four, five, now it is an element of this array. So this is the difference between spread operator and rest operator. Now let's talk about rest parameters. So for example, let's say we are creating a function. Let's call this function add numbers. Okay. And this function, let's say it is going to take a parameter. Let's simply call it as numbers. Okay. And it is going to be of type number. Now, what we want to do here is when we are going to call this function add numbers, there we should be able to pass any number of values. For example, first I'm passing two numbers, one and two. Then if I again go ahead and if I call it at that time, I will pass maybe four numbers, one, two, five and seven. Then next time when I will call it, I will pass maybe six numbers. Okay, so we should be able to pass any number of values to this add numbers function. So what we can do here is because here when we are specifying the numbers, this numbers can only take one value. 
right but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this rest operator here and now what it will do is we can pass any number of value to this numbers parameter because now this numbers parameter it is going to be an array and here i'm going to specify it as array of numbers so now we can pass any number of values for this numbers parameter and what it will do is it will take those values and it will create an array with those values so for example if i go ahead and if i simply log the numbers here let's save the changes you will see that when we are passing one and two this numbers array is an array with the value one and two when we are passing these four values in that case this numbers is an array with those four values and when we are passing these six values this numbers is an array with those six values so when we are using this rest operator here on this numbers parameter whatever value we will pass with those values this rest operator will create an array and it will store those values in that array so now what we can do is we can simply loop over that array so for that i'm going to use this for loop so here let's say for let i in numbers and here let me go ahead and let me create a count variable initially let's set it to zero and now we will say count plus equals i okay and here we have an error and it says the string is not assignable to type number that's because this should be off okay and finally once this loop is over we are going to return the value stored in the count variable save the changes and here let's simply log them log the result which we get by calling this add numbers okay let me also comment these console.log statements and now let's save the changes so you see the sum of these numbers which we are passing that has been displayed here so this is called as rest parameter what we are doing is when we use a parameter and on that when we use this rest operator that parameter become a rest parameter and for that parameter we can pass any number of values and those values it will be stored in an array so this numbers here this parameter it will be an array and in that array these values will be stored okay so this is rest parameter so I hope with these examples now you understand what is a rest parameter and what is rest pattern and you also understand the difference between a rest operator and the spread operator always keep in mind that the rest operator will always come before the assignment operator and the spread operator will always come after the assignment operator this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day